capture muscle performance by using state-of-the-art equipment, which allows us to measure muscle performance. So behind me, for example, is a piece of chest press equipment, which is very similar to what you would see in a gym, but it's equipped with an electronics package that lets us look at the velocity of movement, acceleration, the power output, and how much force is being generated in a very high, uh, a very precise way. So there's several studies using the core today. Um, for example, in patients undergoing kidney transplant, we're looking at how physical function helps predict those who respond well, as well as identifies those who respond poorly to their kidney transplant. So we're doing measures of gait speed, of balance, and of strength to determine which of those variables helps really identify those who respond well uh, to kidney transplant. In another study that's very similar, we're looking at women undergoing hysterectomy, either through traditional approaches or through a robotic approach, and doing a battery of tests and measures which help determine if one is frail or not. And frailty has been operationally defined as poor mobility, poor strength, history of weight loss, poor endurance, and low physical activity. And we can actually capture those variables, um, again, with, with high precision. And when we look at those variables, we look at how well they predict an individual's response to the, to the surgery. This is very consistent with the mission of the clinic in terms of the needs of the patient come first. And, you know, the, we're, we're, we've really advanced medicine today where people are living with a number of chronic conditions and surgeries are particularly successful at um, resolving a disease process or improving health. But what patients are particularly interested in is their ability to um, continue with activities of daily living and remaining independent. And this, the type of measures that we do in our core are highly indicative of that. So people who have declines in physical function are at particular risk, not only for falls, but also for subsequent disability, institutionalization, and even death. So physical function is clearly a very important battery of outcomes that we should be thinking about. Um,